Hi everyone, and welcome back to my channel. It occurred to me that I never actually showed off the tap wrench I made in all its magnificent glory, so I thought I would do a separate video showing just that. In use, you just unscrew the two handles so the jaws can be spread apart to accept the tap. If you unscrew the handles completely, you can flip the jaws around to the other side so you can use the opposite groove to hold larger taps. Since we used the fixture that we did to cut the grooves in the jaws, they're guaranteed to line up and be square, so you should have no problems holding your taps. As you can see, the changeover doesn't take very long at all, so this makes it very quick and easy to use, and a very versatile tap wrench for its size. Here I'm using it on one of my larger taps. This is a 5 8 tap and you can see it fits quite well but this is probably about as large as you can comfortably fit in the tap handle any bigger and you don't have enough space between the screws of the two handles on the smaller end you can go down to a number eight tap which fits in with the two jaws tight up against each other uh, this is a number ten which leaves you a little bit of a gap and this is one of the more common taps that i use By far my most commonly used tap is a quarter twenty, which is right around the same size as an M6. I based all of the dimensions for this tap wrench off of a quarter twenty tap and a half inch tap to make sure that those two sizes fit. Taps below a number eight don't fit in this particular wrench, but it's a very scalable design, so I'm going to go ahead and make a smaller version for the tinier taps that I use. I'm going to make a larger version as well. As you can see, this large screw extractor doesn't fit in there, and mostly because of the spacing between the screws. I'm going to make the larger one with hollow handles, maybe made out of some pipe. I think that'll work a little bit better and certainly be easier to carry around. I'll put up a follow-up video once I get those two tap wrenches made. In the meantime, if you make one, please go ahead and send me pictures. I want to see them. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.